folks, Fat Guy Flies RC here. We're out here at the Avon Park Field. If you look down there at the other end of the runway, you'll see the Dynam Albatross. Fix and do a range test on her. Okay, get down here to range test. Hit my... Okay, and I got movement with a reduced power on the range test and I'm over, oh gosh, well over 90 feet away. So let's go ahead and bring her back down here. I'm running a 4S Reaction 2800, um, 2800 uh, four cell in her. The same ones I used in the timber. I've got it all the way forward. Okay. And uh, let's see, take a do, a do a control. I see right aileron, left aileron, up elevator, down elevator, right rudder, left rudder. Okay, so all right. Now I've put to get the CG closer, I've got the battery as far forward as I can get it. I've also added an ounce and a half of weight to the nose. So left up down hopefully that'll be enough because it seems like it's still tail heavy but this has just a regular receiver in it no kind of uh, gyro or stabilization of any kind and uh The ailerons are definitely not that effective. Yeah, ailerons are more for just basic steering. You definitely want to do a little bit of a mix. She's in one piece. <laughs> She's in one piece. <laughs> so, hey, I'll count that as a successful maiden. Ailerons are, uh, I don't want to say they're an afterthought. They do have some control, but you're definitely going to want a, uh, you're definitely going to want some rudder uh input when you do your turns that is for certain hold on motor, motor off before i get anywhere near um she landed okay hit the grass and tipped forward um but that's okay too but anyways not a rocket ship and that's okay because i've just got to get her trimmed out and when i do i think she'll fly a whole lot better definitely uh a little squirrely so let's motor back on and uh let's see i set the timer for five minutes yeah i definitely want to use your rudder well you want to use your rudder anyways Not bad. Of course, I'm into the sun right now. Looking at the sun right now.
Whoa. Huh. Ah, didn't exactly land. Land at more of an angle there. So definitely got definitely not a good day to maiden. I mean flags are kind of got about an eight mile an hour wind out of the southeast here. I don't have the tail skid on. I've got the uh, regular landing gear. Or the regular tail wheel. Okay. Do have suspension in that front. Uh, do have suspension. So that does help on landing. She definitely, with those both them wings, she'll definitely weather vane on you. So be aware of that. Yeah, don't expect super fast performance out of her you're not going to get it she's a scale plane she flies scale you definitely want to work a little bit of rudder into your turns that's for certain yeah definitely want to work rudder into your turns <laughs> not bad now if I can just get a landing where I don't nose over I think I'm getting a little bit better there let's uh, stand away from the prop here not a bad flying bird just needs some come out here on a very calm day so But I don't get calm days to fly anymore for whatever reason. All right. Lifts right off, that's for sure. Yeah, she lifts right off. can't do it can I <laughs> I was doing so well <laughs> we're gonna we got one minute and ten seconds or eleven seconds so we're gonna try it one more time and try to get a landing without a nose over at the end here she doesn't seem tail heavy so I think the ounce and a half weight I put in the nose Seems to be working really well. So, all right. She takes off no problem. Hey, hey, look at that. <laughs> I didn't go nose over that time. All right. Definitely a good looking bird, that's for sure. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> that time I just let go over and let it roll out naturally. So, <laughs> hey, got a little wing scrapes, but hey, I'll take it. All right, folks, well, there you go. That is the Dynam Albatross. I flew for, let's see. I flew for uh, five minutes shy, 13 seconds. Motor off. Motor off. Let's go see what kind of damage. If I'll get my camera crew to hand me my battery checker, I will be able to tell you what kind, not damage, but what kind of uh, battery life I have left. And uh, we'll see. Now she's a bottom feeder, as you can see. And uh, set the radio off over here at the side. Okay. Got a nice plastic hatch down here. The, um, as you can see, where I've got that reaction battery all the way forward, it got the weight stuck in there. Now I'm just using just regular, thank you, baby. Um, I'm just using, hold on. 55% on basically on a five minute flight. That's on a 2800 4S reaction 50C discharge four cell. Okay. Um, but as you can see, got weights right up here in the nose and then tucked down here. Got a couple weights there. I don't know if you can see my camera angle earlier. And then here on either side, I've got weights glued in on those sides. Now, you can get regular aircraft RC weights if you like. Or you can do like I did and buy, go to Amazon and get the cheap weights that they sell to balance tires with. They have adhesive backing and they got the ounces stamped right on the top makes it a whole lot easier so that's the route i went so i know that's how i know because each of those um are a quarter ounce and i've got six of them so that's an ounce and a half well thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and that was the maiden of the dynam albatross thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe god bless y'all